Bright eyes. You are imitating my mouth movements. In frustration, Taylor suddenly grabs the psychologist's clipboard and pencil. Hey, give that back. I warned you not to get close, Dr. Zira. All humans are vicious beasts. But Zira is shaken to the core by Taylor's note. My name is Taylor. Zira shows Taylor's note to her fiancé. A human wrote this. Cornelius, I tell you, he has ape intelligence. He could prove your theory about a missing link between lonely human beast and the civilized ape. Yes, yes. Dr. Zayas would have to let me pursue my archaeological research then. A writing human? If only he could talk. Meanwhile, Taylor has recovered his self-control. Nova is that what they call you? Thanks for saving my life. Hey, I'm talking. My, my voice has come back. Several days later. We've come for the one called Bright Eyes. It's Taylor, not Bright Eyes. I've told the authorities about your talking trick, Bright Eyes. Now you'll see what comes of being too clever. They'll remove your brain to study it. Suddenly realizing his helplessness, Taylor struggles vainly. He's strong! I'd club him, but Dr. Zayas wants him at an inquiry. In a collar and leash, Taylor is led through the door of a forbidding inquiry room. Dr. Zira, I can talk! Shush, I heard about it, and Cornelius and I arranged this inquiry to save your life. The inquiry is a fiasco. In vain does Taylor try to tell his story. We came from outer space, from a distant planet called Earth. <laughs> Nonsense. Dr. Cornelius, do you believe this preposterous nonsense? <laughs> Not entirely, Dr. Zayas, but he does accurately describe the eastern desert region where I made my archaeological discoveries. Your discoveries were scientific hearsay, and you have been forbidden to speak of them. Why, well, I'm a fair ape, Bright Eyes, but as Minister of Science, I believe in proof. The companions you spoke of, could they confirm this wild tale? One is dead at your hands. The other, I don't know. Perhaps... Perhaps he was also captured. Well, very well. Let's see if your fictitious astronaut friend can be found among the survivors of the hunt in which you were captured, Taylor. Taylor, do not antagonize them needlessly. Our careers are in jeopardy, and your life. You don't fully believe me either, do you, Zero? That's him! Landon! On the left! Landon! John! It's me, Taylor! Let him approach, guards. You vicious savages. You've removed his frontal lobes! Return that animal!
animal to his cage before he gets violent. Beaten and hauled back to imprisonment, Taylor gives in to his despair. Nova, this place is insane. Mad. For some reason they fear me. Want to destroy me. How can I fight them? I'm all alone. I've come for this male. He's to be transferred to the zoo. Says who? Dr. Zayes. Read it for yourself. This is no good. It's not signed. Hit it, Bright Eyes! Ah! I'm Lucius, Anzir's nephew. We've arranged for your escape. The girl. Under cover of darkness, Zira leads Taylor and Nova to a wagon. Be quiet, and we may manage this. All men look alike to most apes. We will meet Cornelius in the East Desert at his archaeological excavation. He and I must clear ourselves of the hearsay charge. Their luck holds, and after a long, tense ride... I'll take this rifle. Nobody's going to capture me again. Cornelius leads the group to a strange and somehow magnificent cavern. I want you to see my archaeological digs. Perhaps some surprises, even for you, Taylor. I can't believe this. Spectacles. Pictures. Beautiful soup. Cornelius. This represents a civilization more advanced than yours. I know. Therein lies the heresy. Our schools teach us that the ape evolved from the animal human. Have they been teaching us lies? Necessary lies for the protection of our race, and for which, unfortunately, y'all must die. Dr. Zayas, in the interest of science, in the interest of survival, Dr. Cornelius, killer humans must be forever kept in their place. No more gobbledygook talk! With the speed of a cat, Taylor bounds to the cave entrance and pins Dr. Zayas. In the interest of our survival, Zayas, send back your guards or you perish. Taylor, you wouldn't. Of course he would! What are your terms, killer human? You're a fine one to speak of killing. I want freedom for the girl and myself. Plus a good horse. And pardon for my friends. Granted. Dr. Zira, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. Of course, Bright Eyes. But I do wish you weren't so ugly. Am I safe on tying you, Dr. Zayas? Well, I am an ape of my word. But you must realize the cave must be sealed up. I can't stop you, Dr. Zayas. But the humans, what will become of them? They go to meet their destiny. Just hold tight, Nova. that of the head. Oh no. No. Nova. Now all the pieces come together. This. This is my planet Earth. Two thousand years in the future. And my civilization destroyed itself. Oh Nova. Nova. You are what's left of the human race. You damn dirty ape.